Bluegrass Sports Media here. Today we're going to talk about Kentucky's 35-28 win over the Missouri Tigers last night. So the game really wasn't this close, man. Kentucky dominated up front um, to a tone of like, let me get the exact number, around 380 rushing yards. So really dominant up front. Offensive line come out and play well. Um, Will Levis at quarterback was 10 for 18, 179 yards, a touchdown and interception. Also had a rushing touchdown. Um, you know, not what he he didn't play as well as he played against UL Monroe, but that's expected. I mean, it's a very big step up in competition from UL Monroe to Missouri. Missouri's a pretty good, a really good football team that's probably gonna be pretty competitive in the SEC East this year, and the step up in competition. He looked really good. The first drive throws a touchdown pass to Chris Rodriguez. Um, the I did have the interception, but the interception was a uh, ball that hit a receiver's hands, although it was behind him and batted up in the air, and someone picked it just like week one. Um, you know, overall, I would say Will Evans played a pretty good game. Um, we really didn't need a whole lot from him against Missouri because of the dominance that is the offensive line of Kentucky. Um, but overall, I think he played okay. The big, the big part of this game that really frustrates me, but also makes me optimistic, is the turnovers. Obviously, the turnovers are not good. We turn the ball over too much. But saying that, we turned the ball over twice. Once going into the end zone, Chris Rodriguez fumbles the ball before crossing the plane, and it turns into a touchback instead of seven points. Saying that, those are bad things, and those are things we need to get fixed. But on the other side, we still beat a very good Missouri team with having turnovers, and without the turnovers, we would have dominated this Missouri team. I mean, we had all, over 300 yards rushing. Uh, Chris Rodriguez had 206 yards, 7.6 yards a carry for three touchdowns. He did have his two fumbles. Two of them were in the end zone. He got lucky one time, and an offensive lineman uh, recovered it in the end zone. But overall, just dominant performance by the offensive line, the big blue wall, you know. We have knew we were very, very good up front. I mean, we've been very, very good up front for most of the Mark Soups era. Um, you know, we've always had the, the guys up front, and um, we did a very good job of developing and recruiting at that level. It really comes down to the quarterback play, and I think Levis played well enough for us to win tonight, and uh, they're gonna, the run game is going to put him in good position to uh, – you know, be able to play action and throw the ball down the field. Another guy who's going to put him in great position is Wondell Robinson. Wondell Robinson is everything I thought he was and more. This guy is electric. Um, he had five catches for 101 yards, averaged 20 yards a catch. Him and Josh Ali are a really, really good tandem here at Kentucky. Um, Josh Ali had two catches, but for 15 yards a pop. Um, you know, in a game where we really didn't, have to run or throw the ball very much. Wanda Robinson just makes explosive plays. He just, that's what he does. He makes explosive plays. First play of the game, he takes it like 70 something yards on a, a jet sweep uh, for, puts us in scoring position that Will Levis punches in with, with a pass to Rodriguez. And, you know, just everything I could ask for and more. Can't, can't ask that much more of the defense or offense. Defensively, I'm really, really impressed with the defensive line. I think in the beginning of the game, we really stuffed the running game. They got some things going, running off that right side towards the end of the first half and the second half, but I was pretty happy with the defensive line and the way we stopped the run. But the secondary, the secondary, the secondary scares me. Secondary very much scares me, you know. Having guys like Carrington Valentine, they're not the guys we had last year. You know, I mean, obviously losing a second-round pick 
in Calvin Joseph and then an NFL guy. Um, but the, it's going to be a drop off there. But at the same time, I'm optimistic about the defense because we have one of the best – Coach Stoops is known for developing defensive backs. I mean, look at Mike Edwards in the NFL. I just said Calvin Joseph, and there's a, a lot more defensive backs. I mean, look what he's done with Yusef Corker. Yusef Corker looks really, really good. Um, so that's not a big concern as of right now. I think the secondary is going to improve, and I'm really happy with how the linebackers – and uh, D-line played, although in the second half we didn't really get as much pressure as I would like, but I'm happy with how uh, the D-line played. And I think you take the turnovers away, we beat Missouri by 21 points. Um, I'm really looking forward to, you know, it's almost, I want to I wanna say this like a boxing analogy. That Georgia game with that defensive line and our offensive line is going to be a heavyweight fight. Like, it's going to be a slobber knocker because we have probably four guys who are going to play in the NFL on the offensive line in Horsey, uh, Kennard, Rosenthal, <clears throat> and the other guy's name is escaping me right now. Georgia's defensive line really impressed me against – I mean, they impressed everybody against Clemson. So I think that's going to be a heavyweight fight. And you know how before title fight a uh, – a challenger or the champion will have a tune-up fight. I think that's what South Carolina is. South Carolina has a very, very underrated good defensive line. I mean, obviously they're not Georgia, but they're very, very good. I went and watched them live yesterday, play ECU. Um, their defensive line is pretty good. Uh, everything else for South Carolina, not so good. Um, ECU looked really good against them. But that's our next SEC opponent is South Carolina. Uh, stay tuned to the... Uh, channel for more videos on that uh, in the coming weeks. Chattanooga's next week. We'll beat the dog piss out of them. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, like, subscribe uh, if you have not already. Um, leave me a comment down below on how impressive you thought the cats were. And have a good day. Go Cats. Mm -hmm.